Greetings, CPS families. I am Latanya McDade, Chief Education Officer for Chicago Public Schools. I have an important update on how your child will be graded in the fourth quarter, as well as the recommendations we will be making to the Board of Education regarding graduation and promotion to the next grade level. To support our high school students and protect their academic standing, high schools will use a modified semester-based grading system. Students will be able to improve their grades and earn a letter grade, which is necessary for applying to college or another post-secondary institution. In recognition of the unprecedented challenges facing our families, students who pass the coursework for the semester but earn a grade lower than their third quarter will receive a P for pass. Students who do not engage in remote learning will be awarded an incomplete. Passes will result in course credit and no impact to the GPA, while incompletes do not award credit and will require students to engage in credit recovery. Let's break down some scenarios to show how different situations will be treated. Let's say I'm a high school student. Letter grades are assigned in a similar way, adjusting only for the semester system. If I improve my semester grade in quarter four, then I earn a letter grade and I improve my GPA. Again, it's pretty straightforward. Now, let's say I earn a B in quarter three, but an overall C average in semester two. I'll earn a P for pass, receive course credit, and my GPA is protected. Now, let's say I'm a student who has access to digital instruction, but I don't participate in remote learning. I'm going to receive an incomplete. That incomplete isn't going to harm my GPA. However, I will not be awarded course credit. That means I will need to participate in credit recovery to earn those credits toward graduation. We've taken care to develop a grading system that rewards students for their hard work, but provides significant flexibility for students given the challenges we face. In addition to our modified grading system, we are also moving to waive the following graduation requirements for this year's seniors. These include service learning, SAT, constitution test, financial literacy, and computer science. For a full overview of how our modified grading system will work, as well as additional information on our proposed promotion and graduation policies, please visit cps.edu slash coronavirus. While this is not the fourth quarter we envisioned for you, the school year is not over. Teachers will continue to teach. Students will continue to learn. The important work of education will not stop. We appreciate your patience and understanding. We will continue to update you regularly throughout the remainder of the school year. Be safe and be well.